Hi everyone, Peter Drew here and this is the Getting Started video tutorial for Video Curation Pro. Okay, once you've downloaded the software, you will have a zip file. When you unzip it, these are the folders that you'll get. Now I'll go through these folders individually. The first page folder is where you place the images that you'd like to become a thumbnail on the Video Curation Pro network. These videos also, these images also are the first image that appear on your video when you're using the option to upload a video from your hard drive. See these images here? These were used with the software. They were placed in the first page folder. And these are another example. See these two white ones? By default we leave an image in the first page folder called one.jpg and it's white and it's, and it's the correct uh, ratio aspect. Though if you do not replace that, this is what will happen. You will get that white image as the thumbnail. So you don't want to do that. Here's some other examples of images people have used in the first page folder and this is how they appear in the SERPs on our Video Curation Pro network. Now we'll go back to, you've got the Instagram and Pinterest folders. If you use Pinterest or Instagram as a source, every time you download the images, it saves them to your hard drive, like this. So you've always got a record of those images. The video archive folder, this stores all the videos that you've created using the software. So you they come in handy. You can um, use, give them to your clients or you can actually repurpose them and use them again. Each time you use a different video, it gives a different file size which makes it more unique. There's a folder called My Videos. I dump my videos in there that I'm using for a promotion and then I'll keep, keep it in the same folder so every time I click on that button in the software it loads up the same folder and it just makes it easier. The MP3 folder. The software comes default with 20 MP3s. It's a good idea to um, source your own MP3s. However many MP3s you load in this folder, every time the software produces a new video, it will select one of these MP3s randomly. So each video has got a different soundtrack. We have the PDF reports folder. This stores all the PDFs that the software has created. And as you can see, each video you, you produce has got three variations of anchor text. So these PDFs are awesome to upload to document sharing websites and your videos will have the right amount of link diversity to rank really well. Now onto the software, we've got four options. With Pinterest, you can search, you can source images using Pinterest by keyword. Important, you can only use one keyword. Um, one word. If you use two, two words it often doesn't work that well so you can select how many images to download. See I've got four from eight. Every time it creates a video it will select four from eight randomly between four and eight videos or that could be it's up to 25 I think so you could do five. It's 25 and that means every time it makes a video it will, it will be a different duration. It will be different from the previous one. Similar with Instagram. Source by keyword. Use only one term. Local folder means you can create videos from slides that you have on your hard drive. For example And every time you produce a video, the software using these slides it will come back and choose randomly how many slides to choose between 10 and 17. See it's picked up this image here, that's from my first page folder and it's by default selected as first image. But if I wanted this image I could select that as the first image. But I like that one so I'll keep it there. You can choose which image 
to be your last one. So this image is in my last page folder, so it, by default it selected that. Here you see the, the duration. Each slide will be presented in, in the video randomly chosen between two and five seconds. You can change that up to make um, different size videos, which is obviously what you want when you're creating a lot of videos. Or here you can choose the local video folder and what that does it allows you to upload a video the software then puts a slide at the beginning of the video and at the end and combines that into one video so I'll go through that now also there's the watermark click on that and you can load your your watermark so now I'll select the my videos folder because that's got the videos stored in it that I wish to use and down here it tells me how many videos it's found and what that also means is that if you load up that folder with 10 different videos every time the software makes a batch mode of videos, so you make 10, it will choose randomly one of those videos each time it produces a video and uploads it to the video hosts, which means if you're uploading to YouTube and you do 10, 10 videos, it will be there will be 10 different variations of those videos, so it will not be leaving any footprint whatsoever and it will look natural. They will there will be 10 different so file sized and duration videos which is exactly what we want okay so I've loaded up the folders the first and last page folder with the images I want I'm loading a video there's four to choose from so I click on next it has randomly chosen that file from the 20 files in the folder here is the video account page. Obviously you just fill in your account information, username or email and password, then click next. And here is the main panel of the software. This is all straightforward. Though if this is your first time using the software, I highly encourage you just to make one test video. You put test the word test in the title, one tag called test with a comma after it one word in the description called test and produce up here change that to one and produce one simple test video so you can see the software working correctly once you've done that come back to the software and load up your software with the correct information you'll notice we have tokens I'll now show you a list of tokens we can use and where they go so these are the tokens where we can use them. We can use the keyword token, can be placed in the title, description and the tags. The link wheel token, this can be used in the description only. The VCN wheel is another link wheel token that can be used in the description only. Table of contents, I'll show you what all these look like in a video that's been produced, can be used in the, in the description only. Spin text can be used in the title, description and tags and I highly encourage the use of spin text, particularly in, in the description. So what we're looking for is article like content in, in your description and that help, really helps your videos rank well. The description is up to a thousand characters including white space. And the top 150 characters are what's displayed in Google beside your video thumbnail. So make sure that you have your most important terms in the first 157 characters. It's also really important to have your, your link to whatever site you're promoting in the first line of the description. Okay, here's a video I made yesterday and I'll describe where the tokens are. That is keyword token. I pulled the first keyword out of the batch file, which I'll show you in a second. Here's the text. I'll show you the text in the software that I used. That there is from the VCN wheel. That there is from the link wheel token. And this here that you see is from the table of contents token. And what that does, it pulls related keyword phrases from the batch window which I'll show you in a sec and puts these links here to specific points in your video so these are hyperlinks which help rank your video better in 
Google and also YouTube and gives this awesome related content which helps your videos rank. So I'll just go back to the software. Viral marketing software there is from this token. I'll just scroll down. There's spin text throughout the description of course. There's the VCN link wheel, which is there. Table of contents, which is down here. Link wheel below the table of contents, which is the previous YouTube video that was created using the software. Now back on the software, we're at the batch window. And these are all our related keyword phrases that we can use to create videos for. The keyword token grabs the first keyword phrase there and replaces the token with this keyword phrase for this video. For the, if you are making more than one video, the second video, the second keyword, this phrase will replace the token on the second video. On the third video, it will be this one, etc. etc. If you're only making three videos per run, you would run the software, the next time you run the software, cut these those keyword phrases, put them at the bottom, and then the next, if you're doing three videos now, it will create three videos using these three terms. And once you've done that, move them to the bottom and continue on, or you can do one run, etc. So what you see here is what I use with a lot of success to rank very well. Two keywords in the title, first keyword in the tags and then the related keyword phrases. Keyword before the link, then link, article content, using spin tags, VCN wheel, table of contents and link wheel. Now also we have, which is awesome for local listings, is the long latitude and longitude. To find them it's really simple. You select your country, I'll do Gold Coast. And then scroll down. Just block that and copy, Control C, get back to the software. Control V to paste. Control V. And that video will be updated with those with that latitude and longitude meaning it will YouTube will give preference to this video for people in that surrounding location so that it's as simple as that you click next and the software goes out and produces as many videos as you have listed up here based on your keyword phrases to the websites that are listed under the account page if you only want to post to YouTube only fill that one out leave the others empty and vice versa once the software is finished, it will produce a PDF report like this, which, as I said before, has got three different variations of anchor text for each link, which is awesome. So you want to get this PDF out to the um, document sharing websites. I use Steve's video marketing robot. There's a link for this in the VCP Mastermind group. I it's it's 37 bucks or something. It's really well worth the investment. But also, you can upload it to Blogger. Which reminds me, for YouTube accounts, you really need to follow the advanced account creation PDF that I created for everyone. A part of that process is creating a Blogger blog. And you can also use Drive. As you can see here, I'm in drive, drive.google.com after, oh, after creating the account for Google, I also updated tons of other accounts and you can see here I've posted my PDFs here, shared them publicly so I get backlinks to these PDFs from here but then I copy and paste them to 
this account's blogger block so all those links are shared here so that gives extra link juice to the drive video to the drive PDFs which then give extra linking juice back to each of the videos I created and it's a really simple process you can see the video how I do this also on the VCP mastermind group and lastly our title is limited to 100 characters tags we're limited to combine 125 characters and a thousand characters in the description so as long as you make sure your characters are within those limits the software will work and upload your video successfully produce the PDF report and your videos will rank very very well in YouTube daily motion the search engines plus our VCN our video curation pro network these links rank very well as well all, all of those domains in there high PR on age domains and they rank particularly well if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the VCP mastermind group on Facebook